The rough wiring was doable. The challenge was to find a path through the non-structural elements of the house. After securing the wires to the studs or joists, I have installed the gang boxes for the switches and the ceiling lights. Now I'm moving to the switches and I'm gonna install them and I'm gonna probe them to be sure that actually they are working, installing temporary lights on uh, every line. Yes, outside is raining and I'm doing the electrical. So uh, over here I'm gonna have three switches. One is gonna be for the light outside on the back of the house, and uh, one is gonna be on the breakfast, and one is gonna be in the kitchen lights. Now I'm using these connectors. They are easier than to twist with the regular stuff that we are using, the caps, and. Uh, I got uh, dimmers, Lutron dimmers, and uh, uh, heads up to everybody that it's like me, never did anything with switches. Those are coming with these like wings, I don't know how to call it. Like this is the exactly one uh, unit. And what I did, because it's not enough space, you're gonna have to take apart one of the sides or both of the sides if they are in the middle. If the switch is in the middle what does what what happen is if you have a regular lights not led lights removing this side is gonna go down in the usage of the switch from 600 watts to 500 watts and if you remove the other side too you're gonna have another 100 watts down so you're gonna have actually the switch good for only 400 watts but incandescent lights but not for the LED lights. For LED lights, this one doesn't affect the switch. So uh, heads up for everybody that is using the Dimmable Lutron uh, Maestro, that if you remove the sides and you don't use LED lights, you're gonna lose 200 watts. And uh, the connectors are, this one are pretty easy. I don't know if the inspector will like it. If he doesn't like it, I'm gonna have to use the caps, like a regular twisting, twist, caps. twisting caps. And uh, it's pretty easy. I'm using uh, uh, these uh, staples, it's with the plastic, I like it better than the metal one. I start with the metal, but I don't like it because they go too deep, so I switched with the plastic ones. And uh, heads up too, they have different type of uh, uh, wires that they can uh, handle. If their wires are wider, then you're going to need to buy uh, wider ones, and I have those too. So with the Lutron Maestro, if you have only one light, so this one will not be a three-way, so will not go to another switch. It's easy to connect. You take the power, you connect with a black screw, and uh, the wire that is going to the light, you're gonna use the black black one and connect it too. And now you can switch on and off the light that you are using. Don't forget, if you remove those, so minus 200 watts. If it's LED, you don't care about that. 
uh, over here is for the uh, uh, the third wire if you use as a, a three wire switch so you don't care and you're gonna connect the white wire to the white wire from the power the ground on the ground wire and also connect the ground here also on the on the ground over there don't mix the the neutral with the ground because that's not gonna work I did that so I was thinking because when uh, uh, they installed the electrical uh, uh, meter, they put together the ground with the neutral and I was thinking why not, make sense to do it here too, no don't do it because it's not how it's supposed to do. So connect the white with the white, the copper with the copper and uh, the ground that this one has with the copper because it's the same. So going, going back to installing uh, the Lutron Maestro dimmer. Uh, that's how it's supposed to look, of course. Unfortunately, I removed this side without knowing that I'm going to use it here. So, uh, on on three switches, remove only the middle, this side, this side, not the outside, like here I keep it. And uh, this switch, it's uh, 500 uh, watts if it's a uh, regular uh, light bulb. But because they are LED, doesn't matter. So that's how they're supposed to look like after you install it. And I connected already because I want to be sure that I will not forget where the wires are going and which one is what. And uh, they are working perfectly. Like this. Of course, everybody will tell me that I will have hard time to put the shit rock around. Yes, uh, I will have to remove this and make a hole and put it inside. But that's a risk that I have to take it because uh, I'm not an electrician. And when I have so many wires going in, I'll be like, uh, which one is going where and what are they going to do? Because I will forget, of course. So I will install it already. And... Uh, that way I'm sure that actually the wires are going the right way. It's not yet put on a breaker in a panel, in a panel box. It's just, uh, uh, I use the, uh, the cable that is coming from uh, the temporary, temporary outlet. So I'm using this to actually check and I want to be sure that no, uh, the wires are perfect going in and uh, when I'm done with all the uh, light I'm going to install, they are all 15 watts for the light because I don't need more because all the light will be uh, LED, so you don't need it. And then all the outlets will be minimum 20, 20 amps and the breaker will be 20 amp. And uh, we will catch up with you guys after I finish this. So it's telling you already how to put it. This is saying top, so you put like that. And on the back it's saying you to put on top that side. So you just install it easy. It's a piece of cake. Anybody can do this. I like that you don't see the screws. They're just looking seamless. So this is the dimmer that we are using. It's Lutron. It's a three-way dimmer. They are relatively expensive. Like 29 bucks, 27, 30, depend where you are getting from. So like I said in the beginning, this is brand new one. If you remove this side, you are losing a hundred once another 100 if you remove the other one and they are rated for 600 watts now you can use the cups like that i don't like them 
and this is the companion not as nice looking uh, like the other one this is the dimmer and this is the companion you can see this is more shiny and the other one it's more flat they are both white snow as a color and uh, you can see the dimmer has this small LED lights the companion doesn't have it and uh, if you use two dimmers are not working so only one with the companion will work if you use two it's not working and guess what I try it and they are pretty neat pretty nice new technology you can put the the wires inside here instead to hook it but I'm not liking in that so I'm not using I just hook it like all the way like old school I think it's better than this one having your own land building your own house is rewarding thank you for watching